Hey guys, this is Balu and today in this tutorial, I will show how we can create this kind of simple scene using rigid body physics in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the video so and without any further delay, let's start today's video. So before going to this video, first we need to download assets which are free. So here I will be downloading this model from Sketchfab. Thank you for this creator, Harvey. Thank you, Harvey. And also I will be getting this soccer model from this creator. Don't know I can spell this name correctly. So anyway, thank you for the creator. So download this in GL, GLTV format. So scroll down, click on this download and select this GLTF and download this one. So it will be downloaded in zip format. So unzip those files. So here you can see I have unzipped those files. So now let's move actually into this tutorial. So here I'm using Blender 4.4 version. Nice. So first of all, let's import the truck asset. So file import so it is a gltf files right so click on this gltf and locate the file so here i got the folder so select this thing and import gltf so here you can see we got the model right it is way big so let's reduce the scaling so press s and reduce the scaling here so yeah i think this much is fine all right let's increase the scaling a bit okay. so let it be here like this so first of all let's apply the scaling here so select everything and first of all, let me show you, press N on the keyboard here, you can see the scaling option here. We need to set this to default, like one, one, one. So select all the items or all the objects here. Go to this object, apply, apply scale. So now you can see each object is set to default scaling. So this is important. Make sure to do this one. So press N to hide this one. So here we got the truck. So let's place this just about to the grid here so yeah i think this is fine nice so here these are separated parts right so we need to have this as a single object so instead of combining this one which will create a lot of mess let's add an empty and let's parent all the objects to an empty so that we control this whole truck using that empty so let's do that so here we got the origin right okay let it do that so go to this add empty you can choose any of the empty here here i will choose cube so let's increase the scaling okay so here we got this truck inside this empty right select all the objects and make sure this empty is in orange color now press ctrl plus p p for pen ctrl p and select this object keep transform so now using this empty we can control this whole truck you can see right and also make sure the wheels are separated here the wheels are separate for this model so if your model is not having this will separate it make sure to separate them and also let's have this object parented to an another empty because we want to have this rotating so let's select both the things or else first add an empty so go to this add empty here i will select this pr empty press s and increase the scaling and let's place the empty here so that we want the anchor point at this position so being selected that select this object select this one and select the empty at last make sure this empty is selected or change it to orange and control p control plus p object keep transform so now using this empty we can control this whole object so that we can rotate this in this way so some kind of hydraulic system okay so let's close this thing so let's change this and close the object here okay let it be like this so oh, fine so now if i select this empty and if i move this you can see these empty objects are not moving along with the truck because we did not parent this empty this main empty so let's select this peer empty and let's select this empty later hold shift key now control p keep transform now we can move this whole thing and this empty also moves along with the truck nice so now first of all let me save the project Control s the project is saved so now let's import the ball model so go to this file import gltf and select the soccer ball select it and import so it is very small let's increase the scaling so i think this is fine i think this is also not a single object so here this is not a single object so let's combine this thing so select everything here Control J to join them. So now this is a single object and let's apply the scaling. So I think, yeah, this scaling is fine. Let's see. This is a bit large, right? So let's reduce the scaling a bit. So yeah, this is fine. Now let's apply the scaling. So go to this object, apply, apply scale. Okay. 
and make sure the origin point is at the center for your object if not go to this object set origin origin to geometry this origin point will come to the center of the object this is important for simulations so now let's apply rigid body so first of all let's add this pair come to this physics options here apply rigid body so type let it be active and shape here this ball shape is in sphere right so i will change this to sphere if the shape of the object what you have selected is not sphere change this to convex hull or mesh check with convex hull if it doesn't work ch change this to mesh so now if i play this you can say the ball is falling down but it will not interact with this truck so let's add physics property onto this truck also so let's select the truck here apply rigid body so type change it to passive and shape it is set to convex hull right so first of all let's check this using this convex hull only so if i play this now let's see this ball object okay so here you can say with this convex hull object the ball is not getting inside this truck so let's change this to mesh and let's see this once again so now you can say the ball is dropping inside this truck so depending upon the shape of the object these both options will work so change this accordingly nice so for this object also we need to apply the physics property so select it apply rigid body change this to passive and we are going to animate this object right so for that reason enable this animated option and shape change it to mesh and for this also let's enable this animated option okay so let's play this once again and see this yeah okay fine so now let's duplicate these peer models so select the object shift d press y and let's place this here now shift r to repeat the last action now select both the spheres duplicate it once again shift d duplicate it so here you can use array modifier but i think this will be easy and it will be straight forward so let's shift d z and okay so i think this many balls are fine and if i play this now yeah see all balls are falling inside this truck and they are interacting with this model also okay so if you want to increase the count you can do that so let's increase the count a bit further shift d and let's place them here okay so i think this much is fine let's save the project control s so here the scene is only 250 frames right so i will increase this to 800 and also this simulation we need to increase the simulation frame rate also so come to this scene properties here come to this rigid body world let's come to the simulation first here enable simulation and let's change this end frame to 800 and come to this rigid body world here come to this sketching so here the simulation start and end is set to 1 to 250 so let's change this end value to 800 so depending upon the scene you can change this simulation start and end frame so yeah i think this is fine so now if i play this you can see all the balls are getting inside the truck and make note of the frame at which these balls get settled down so at yeah at 200 frames these balls are getting settled down right so let's select the empty here press i on the keyboard to add a keyframe now let's move like 340 frames so i will move the truck here here the balls will be staying in that position only because the simulation is not yet completed so it will be staying there only so let's place the truck here now again press i on the keyboard so now let's check the simulation once again so here the balls are getting inside the truck and they are getting settled down and once the truck moves you can say the balls are getting pushed inside this truck yeah okay so after that we need to make this object like rotating so that these balls will get outside right so yeah i think at 400 frame select the empty add a keyframe so press i on the keyboard to add a keyframe here so move forward like 440 frames and let's rotate the empty here change this to rotation and let's rotate the empty so that we get this in this position now again press i on the keyboard after that let's select the object here press i on the keyboard so now come to this 468 frame and let's rotate this object here so it is moving there to know the reason so i'll do one thing i will come to the starting frame here and i will rotate this thing a bit so like this okay 
and I will add a keyframe here and I will copy this keyframe or else I will move this keyframe to this 460th frame. That's right. So now let's play this whole scene once again. So here we have added keyframes for this object to open for this object sorry for this empty to leave this object and also we have added keyframe for this empty to move the whole track okay so now let's select the balls here sorry come to the scene selection and click on this back before going to bake this animation sorry simulation let's check this once again so press space bar so here we got these balls inside the track soccer balls and we got this truck moving forward okay nice and later we got this elevated sorry raised upwards and we got this balls falling down yeah so now we need to add a ground plane so that the soccer balls can interact with that so let's come to the starting frame don't bake the simulation yet so shift a come to the smash plane press s and increase the scaling press s and let's make it big here okay so for this plane also we need to add collision property that is rigid body property so come to this physics property before to that let's apply the scaling so being selected this plane go to this object apply apply stay and come to this rigid body we need to make this passive make it passive and this one let it be convex cell i think this will be fine and friction let's come to the surface response i will raise the friction a bit so that the soccer balls won't move much further okay so now let's play the simulation once again let's see the project space bar to play so here i will increase the simulation and frame a bit so i will make it thousand frames and also come to the same simulations and rigid body simulation i will make it thousand okay so now let's bake the simulation click on this bake button simply and it starts to bake the simulation so our simulation is done so now let's add camera in the scene so shift a come to this camera option add camera now Control alt 0 to see through camera press n on the keyboard come to this view options and lock this 3d cursor and camera to view so now we can adjust the camera position so press n to close this one so come to the starting frame here so here at the starting frame i want only this face visible so i will add a keyframe here press i add a keyframe so or else we can start the render when the truck moves so here at 195 right so i will change this to 195 so our starting frame will be 195 only so add a keyframe for this now move to this now scroll forward in timeline so now yeah and if you want to move this camera let's make it this here okay now again press i on the keyboard to add a keyframe so now if i play this we can see we got our scene ready so later you can add materials, textures, models in order to enhance the scene. And if you want to increase the simulation, increase the number of counts of these soccer balls or whichever objects you are using. So in this way, we can create this kind of scenes using rigid bodies in Blender easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So I'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.